talking here about redox, which involves things like oxidation numbers. And I'm going to use the Not Cardi PowerPoint for this. Um, Not Cardi PowerPoints can be downloaded here if you want to have a look um, yourself. So oxidation is the loss of electrons. Reduction is where something gains electrons, where a species gains electrons. And the oxidation state tells us about how many electrons you have to either take away or add to something to make it become neutral. So the first rule is that atoms, when they're in the form of an element, will always have an oxidation state of zero. Basically, hydrogen will always have an oxidation state of plus one, except in a hydrogen molecule, when it will have an oxidation state of zero. And also where it will be a hydride ion and then it will be a minus one. Oxygen will always be minus two, except when it's in the form of an element, O2, when it will be zero. There's another example, hydrogen peroxide, um, where it's minus one. Also in something like F2O, it's a very specific example, oxygen will be plus two, so the F fluorine can be minus one. And so fluorine is the most electronegative element in periodic tables, so it will always be minus one, whatever it's paired with, except when it's an element, and then it follows the rule, like all the others, it has an oxidation state of zero. In any molecule, any neutral molecule, the sum of the oxidation states must add up to zero. In this particular molecule, each of the oxygen atoms has an oxidation state of minus two. Two of those together will make minus four. So we've got to balance that out with the carbon. So if it's going to be neutral overall, the carbon must have an oxidation state of plus four. They need to balance. The other thing that you have to take into account is the overall charge of the species that you're looking at. So NO3 minus, it doesn't matter what the individual oxidation states are, overall they have to add up to an overall charge of this minus 1. SO4 2 minus has an overall charge of minus 2. So whatever the individual species have as their oxidation state, they must add together to give a total overall charge of minus 2 and so on. So if we look at something like manganate, MnO4 minus, let's look at the ones that don't change. So oxygen here is the most electronegative one. We assign that with a minus two. There's four oxygens, so we know altogether that comes to minus eight. Now that would mean if there was no overall charge for this molecule, that Mn manganese would have an oxidation state of plus 8, because we'd want to balance them, but we've got an overall minus charge. Therefore, we can't balance out the minus 8 completely. We need to make sure that the overall sum comes to minus 1, so therefore manganese must have a charge of plus 7 plus 7 from the manganese, minus 8 from the oxygens gives us an overall charge of minus 1. So have a look at these, see if you can work through them and work out what the oxidation state is of the element that is in red. And there's an extra question there, what's odd about the oxidation state of sulphur in this final species? Okay, so SO2, we've got oxygen, we know oxygen is going to be minus 2, whatever, so two of those oxygens gives us minus 4, but it's neutral overall, so the sulphur must be plus 4. NH3, we know that hydrogen is always plus 1, apart from in specific examples, three of those plus 1s give plus 3 for H3. If it's neutral overall, then the nitrogen must be minus 3. And there are the other answers there. Let's just look at a complex ion, NH4+. Plus. Okay, 4 H's, that means we've got a charge of plus 4 overall for the H's. Now, if there was no overall charge there, the nitrogen would have, an, would have a charge of minus 
4, that would balance out the plus 4. But we want it to be left with an overall charge of plus 1, so we can't balance out all of that plus 4, so it must be a minus 3. That leaves us with an overall charge of plus 1. And so on. Let's look at another one. Ah, let's look at Cl2O7. So we know the oxygen. 7 times minus 2 is minus 14. So the chlorines have to balance out that minus 14. So if there was just one chlorine, it would have a charge of plus 14. But there's two of them. So to make sure those chlorines balance out the minus 14, they must each have a charge of an, an oxidation state of plus 7. 2 plus 7 is a plus 14. Balance out the minus 14 from the oxygens. Overall, it's neutral. So let's have a look at this S4062 minus. We have oxygen. Six oxygens gives us an overall charge of minus 12. Now we know that the sulphur has to make up most of that negative charge but leave a negative charge of minus 2 over. So the oxidation state of all of those sulphurs must come to must come to plus 10. We've got plus 10 from the sulphurs, minus 12 from the oxygens, that gives us an overall charge of 2 minus. But there's four sulphurs, so if we divide 10 by 4, that means that each of those sulphurs must have an oxidation state of 2.5.